guys, Dan the Wolfman for ProMMAnow.com with the Huntington Beach Bad Boy, Tito Ortiz. How's it going, How's it going today? Doing really good, man. Got to get uh, with the update on the news. It's uh, People's Champ, no longer. The People's Champ. Yes, no longer Bad That's Boy. Right. Bad the People's boy's Champ. Gone. Boy's right. gone. I'm a man now. You know, I want my kids to look up to me as the People's Champ. I have so much I've done for this sport and you know, so much as my fans gave to me to be where I am today. So you got to be thankful for my fans. That's why I'm the People's and tonight you're here at Bellator because you manage one of the fighters, right? Actually, uh, my sponsor, one of the fighters, Joe Williams, and uh, we're just looking for some new talent. You know, I um, actually spoke to Bjorn um, about getting one of the fighters that I manage, uh, Ricardo Brew, who's uh, 4-0 right now, and he's, he's tough as nails. One of my sparring partners from my last two years, and uh, he's a for real deal. So hopefully we'll get him in here into this one and um, at the Bellator fights, you know, at 185. And I mean, he's for real. He's for real. All right, we'll keep an eye out for him. Yep. Who else we got? We got uh, Cyborg. Uh, uh, Cyborg, I see y'all possibly signing a deal with USC. You know, we're in the works to uh, work with them. You know, still working tight with uh, Dana. So if they'll be able to, you know, make the ends meet and make it happen. You know, everyone wants to see, uh, of course, Cyborg versus Gina Carano. Um, I don't know Gina Carano, but uh, Ronda Rousey. Um, and, you know, I, I think Cyborg will crush her. He just, uh, they wanted to cut down to 135, which is, I believe is, unhealthy for uh, Cyborg because she's been fighting at 145 for the last six years, seven years now, defending her title over five times now at 145, but they want to cut down. That's the weight class that they think it's, uh, is now Ronda's weight. Ronda's weight. But it, you know what, USC... At one time, 205 was made for Tito weight, the Tito weight class. Come on, I got the phone call with Joe Silva the night before it got established. <laughs> it's true, but it's yeah, true. it's one of those things, you know, they want to build a women's champion and they did it with Ronda Rossi and uh, you know, she's able to defend her title I believe on February 23rd in UFC here in uh, Anaheim, and hopefully she does well, and hopefully she crushes the girl who I don't know who she's fighting. Um, but like I say, Cyborg is for real deal. Any, I mean, I've never trained with a woman before besides uh, Cyborg, and when I got my manager company, I signed her because I automatically I was like, if I got a chance to sign uh, a champion and a fighter, it would be uh, for sure the Cyborg. Well, I saw her deadlift you when you had a triangle on it. That's yeah, pretty I impressive. Her locked. I know I'm tapping her, but I mean, at the same time, for a woman, a 145 pounder to pick me up off the ground and slap me on the floor. I mean, not slam me, but pick my body at weight. And I mean, I'm 220, and she picked me up and dropped me on the floor. But at the same time, uh, you know, she's a for real deal. Contractually, what's going on with UFC? Like, is the, is the sticky term the weight, or is it you know you want her to get a fight first, guaranteed before she fights Ronda? So fans. Even more fans know who Cyborg is. Or you know, I mean, I, it, it really comes about Cyborg's getting down to 135 is really going to be tough for her. I never really, you know, in my mind, I mean, in her mind too, is it's not really healthy for her to get down to that low of weight because um, she walks around about 171. And for a woman, you know, to get down to that much body percentage of fat, I mean, for a man to get down to 3% body fat is no, not a problem. For a woman to do that, it's unhealthy, you know, I mean, just for physically, it's an unhealthy. I mean, I, I've been cutting weight for over 20 years. And uh, UFC has said that they'll pay for, uh, who's it, uh, Dolce Diet to come in and do, his, do her diet and get her down to 135. If he can do it, he can do something I've never seen that uh, possibly could happen. But if it does happen, as I say, I want her to get a warm-up fight. I mean, as a manager, i got to look out for my, my fighter. i got to look out for my athlete and make sure that her uh, future is the most important thing health-wise. I want to make sure that I make the right decisions for her as a manager. Um, you know, and... and the Ronda Rousey fight has to happen. You know, Ronda's talks some trash on her, and, you know, um, Cyborg is a person who's very quiet, and I'm going to have to kind of rub her off on her. It's like, you know what, you got to speak up. you got to you know, say what's on your mind, because she gets pissed about some of the things that's been said about her. And, and she's a true champion, you know. Um, she had a mistake last year. You know, they, she tested positive for a substance that was illegal in uh, California. And that was the first time she's ever been uh, tested and uh, came up uh, positive on anything in her whole career and it was a mistake on her training partners she said you know what Tito, it was a bad mistake on my part I, I, I 100% up willing saying it was my fault and that's why I signed her because I want to re reinvent her of something that she's already been a champion but show her that I'm putting my stamp I put my approval on her to show all of her fans and everybody who watches them and made that this woman um, won't make that mistake again. Sure, and you know I think it might be good if she goes, whether it's a direct shot or she knocks someone out first. You know, it'd be good to hype it. Like Ronda's going to get an opponent or two. Maybe she'll fight Misha Tate a second time. Who knows what's going to happen? But uh, it'll just hype up the fight when it eventually happens. Yeah, you know I think I think the, the health is what the most important thing is here. Her getting down to 135 is going to be tough. It's going to be very challenging. But if she's able to get down to that weight. Um, let's get our warm-up fight. And as a manager, I want to see her to be comfortable with that. Get our warm-up fight. I don't care who it is. Misha Tate, it could be anybody, um, anyone. Cyborg is for real deal. She is. Uh, she even spar with her. She's knocking dudes out. No, like she's you? knocking guys out. That's her deal. She spars with her husband. Her husband, who's a hundred, I mean, for a one seventy pounder, uh, uh, Cyborg. Mm -hmm. um, 
he's for real. I mean, but she's stand up and they're knocking each other out. I mean, you guys are married, a, husband a and wife. Couple. You guys are, I mean, for women, she has no women to spar with. She spars with nothing but men, and that's all she spars with. And like I say, I've wrestled with her. She's defending my double. Yes, she's defending my double. Uh, you know, she's picking up and she slammed me once. Uh, that was about it. I mean, I caught her in a triangle, of course. But at the same time, I mean, I, I ain't trying to rub anything off of her. She's a great champion. But at the same time, she, um, hopefully I'm able to uplift her and show what the true champion she truly is. You know, she made a mistake last year, and I'm willing to put my stamp of approval on her to show that she's going to be in the next world champion UFC at 135. Okay, good. And how is punishment clothing doing? You know, punishment athletics, we're doing really well. Um, we're actually working on a Walmart deal. Um, um, Starfish brand is actually a, a, a sub, sub side besides uh, punishment that I'm trying to get just for MMA fans across the United States to, to have a stamp of approval of the punishment Starfish behind them. And, uh, you know, my nutrition line, Punishment Nutrition, um, is doing very well. My gym, Punishment Training Center in Huntington Beach. Um, everybody can go to punishmenttrainingcenter.com to check it out. I'm doing very well. And, you know, of course, my kids um, getting big. Actually, I go out to Arizona tomorrow with my son Jacob for the state meet for wrestling. And, uh, I just try to be a dad, try to be a businessman, now that I'm not fighting anymore. Do you, do you recommend kids out there getting a wrestling program, getting athletics? Um, you know, that's 100% for all kids out there. If, in any MMA, if you kids want to be champions, uh, you got to start out being, by uh, being wrestlers. You know, collegiate wrestlers, that's where it starts at. A lot of parents want to get their kids into sparring, into wrestling, or excuse me, into jiu-jitsu. You know, get them into wrestling. Start them out in grade school wrestling, uh, high school wrestling, get their degree. And that's number one. With my kids, I tell him, you know, uh, my son Jacob, who's 10 years old, I tell him, you know, he goes, Dad, I want to be a USC fighter. I say, what's our deal, Jacob? He goes, okay, Dad, I understand. I get my master's degree first. Well, there we go. I'm, I'm trying my daughter's to 16, and she's wrestling her second year, and she's, like, kicking butts. Yeah, I know. It's cool. I mean, you, you got to give them uh, boundaries. you got to give them set goals through their lives. And I think as parents, we need to make that, that goal and those boundaries for our children. To, uh, and wrestling is probably one of the biggest and greatest sports in the world today that could actually save a lot of children, as it did with me. You know, my true name is Jacob, and if anybody read the Bible, Jacob wrestled against an angel, and the angel beat uh, Jacob, and he was saved. Well, Wrestling saved my life and hope a lot of kids who get into wrestling that can save theirs also. Well, thank you very much. We haven't grappled or sparred in about 10 years yeah, now. Yeah, about 10 years. Yeah, yeah. You know, That's you know, been a but, while. You know, Cobra Neck Crank, you're the only guy to win with it so far. When are guys going to start Cobra Neck Cranking people like you did a condo? Right? I know, right? I doubt they are. It's just one of those things I was like, how's that Bakersfield? You know, uh, Pope showed me the right way to do it and I did it and it worked. And now everyone's palm in the head and can opener going to elbows too. I mean, yeah, they, they, yeah. it's been a long time. Since anyone's done it. Ten years in the making, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, guys, go to promomainow.com. Thanks, Tito. Oh, pleasure.